What's going on everybody, it's our Mike, and today we are going to test a new microphone. Uh, I have used this microphone right here in front of me that you can see, our Fafine mic, for quite a while. And thank you again to Fafine for sending it out as a demo piece uh, for me. It has been a great mic and I will hang on to it, but I have a different mic today by... I believe you would pronounce this Good Holo. Good Holo. And this is a plug and play USB microphone as well. One thing I like about this uh, that the company got a hold of me for is because this one actually comes with a stand and an arm. And I believe it even comes with a, yeah, it comes with our shock mount, our arm. And I believe there's even a screen as well. So you don't hear when you have your hisping hisses or your sound when you're recording audio. So we're going to go on ahead and break into this package and give it a shot. All right, so as I said, here we are with our Good Holo plug and play USB microphone. Uh, on it, we can see we have a rugged adjustable arm mic stand, a shock mount. We also have our USB cable and custom condenser capsule offers crystal clear audio so that is a look at this um this setup i think goes for less than 60 bucks maybe even cheaper than that i will put an actual price and the link for this in the description below but as we can see it is a unidirectional co-plug and play microphone add crystal clear audio to recording for youtube create podcast add narration to your home movies Record instruments or vocal. Improve audio quality on Skype, Twitch, and FaceTime. Easy plug and play to your Mac, PC, no drivers to install. Also says here, easy mute without plug and easy mute without plug and, and unplug the cable. Uh, and denser microphone, excellent. Uh, reproduction of voice and music professional. So also shows down here podcast u100 that might be the actual uh, unit or the uh, model information for you so let's crack into our box now i am using the fifin mic right now for doing this unboxing but we will switch over and get an audio test so sorry if you guys do hear quite a bit of crinkling and crazy loud noise but that is what we get here. Make a nice cut across the front. Now we'll peel. Alright, so that wrapper is set aside. Front of our box. We've already gone over all that. It says here open from here. So, pull it down. Now let's take a look. And we have a ton of foam. Good piece of uh, foam to keep everything protected and safe during shipment. On top we have our manual. Put that aside. Uh, activate our warranty so we can activate that. So, just as I was hoping for, yes, we do have a uh, screen here to help uh, with any spit or pronunciations, making sure everything comes through crystal clear. And then, obviously, here's our mounts. We do have our foam. It goes over the mic itself, the microphone, our arm, and I believe, yep, there's our cable. This thing has all of it. And there is even a little tabletop uh, tripod as well, three legged tripod. For if you need that and you don't need a table mount, here's our clamp. So, yeah, let me uh, get all this assembled and we will take a look at it. All right, so we have our microphone here set up on the arm. As you can see here, arm is mounted. So, the 
arm itself, I actually like this. I mean, it's not the most expensive, most crazy arm. I mean, for like I said, if this kit's right around 50 bucks, uh, even below $100, it's still not bad. We get our shock mount, obviously, right here. We have the microphone going, as you all can tell. Um, we also have our uh, dampener piece here that I can put in front. And I honestly don't think you guys are probably hearing too much background noise. And I do have the AC fan unit running. It's just set to fan right now behind me. And then I have a ceiling fan going here in the living room as well. Just keep the house decent at the moment. But overall, I like it. Right now, the mic volume is probably about half, just a smidge over half. And if I put this back in front here, this should help with any of the uh, wisps or any of the issues with pronunciation that you would hear. Um, obviously, this puts me behind a screen, as you can see. I think it's pretty cool. But anyway, I'm going to move this out of the way. Because I don't think I need it for this moment in time. But I like that this mic is basically floating now, which is cool. Uh, one other thing I had not bothered to talk about is uh, Android 12 Beta. I believe this is Beta 2 right now that I'm on. When you unlock, you can see. Uh, being that I'm running this on a Pixel 3 XL, yeah, it is not the fastest thing in the world. Um, does not have our 90 hertz refresh rate like we get on the uh, Pixel 5. I am very tempted to bump this or move this to the Pixel 5 as well. But um, yeah, overall, with the notifications and everything on here, you swipe down the way you get certain information. Actually works really well. I like how things are bigger, cleaner, clearer. But th that's, what not, that's what this is not about though right now. This is about this microphone and just quality. So, if you all think this Good Holo microphone is pretty good, give the video a thumbs up. If you all are new to my channel, please like it, subscribe. Uh, this is the second microphone that I have actually gotten, and thank you, Good Holo, for sending this out to me as a demo unit. Um, this isn't something that I was paid to do. This is just me willing to give them a try. Um, give it a shot and give a microphone a shot. I like using external mics over the audio that can come from the phones. Your microphones on the phones, they pick up way more stuff. This way you can kind of channel things to how you want it to be. But uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. Especially like if I actually do eventually get to do a live chat with people or if I plan to do um, have some people on or do a podcast or something in the future. Who knows? Things are crazy. But uh, yeah. If you all like the video, hit that like button, comment, subscribe. This is our mic, and I'll chat with y'all in the next one. All right, so take two. This is using our Fafine microphone on the same arm as well that the Good Holo mic came with. And I'm obviously talking almost directly into the microphone. Um, just to test and see how the audio turns out with this over the Good Holo. Now I'm going to go on ahead and put our screen in front and see if that makes me sound any better. And obviously now my arm here wants to come loose in a way. I think it's just how this one is. This screen is built. It uh, does not hold in place as well. I mean, like I said, I still need to look up the cost of this kit to see how much this goes for. Alright, so I got my screen fixed. Obviously here you can see that it is staying in place, both hands, no issues. Um, as for bumping and audio noise, this is a test of the Fafine mic using the Good Holo setup. And just for final note, yes, the, this here, uh, Good Holo microphone, uh, like I said, the mute button does light up when uh, you need to use it or don't. That is one thing that is on this and an LED light showing you that it is powered on. That is one thing that is on here that is not on the Fafine model. And the Good Holo setup with the uh, wind cover, 
our screen here, the arm, everything, including that little mini tripod, is forty dollars, forty bucks out the door for that. Um, but yeah, this is the end of the look at how this arm and everything works.